Hello, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Is Tony Abraham pregnant again? Lots of Nigerians react. As Tony Abraham flaunts her alleged baby bump. Some months ago, there were rumors that Tony was pregnant. Well, this rumor might just be true. In the year 2019, there were also rumors and speculations going around that the Yoba actress Tony was pregnant. In some of the pictures that she posted online, she was seen wearing a red maternity gown coupled with a head scarf. But that was not even a part that was telling. It was Tony's face that screamed pregnant. I once saw her skin look dark and then swollen. The very pregnant looking picture caused many fans to congratulate her on her page because she looked every week a pregnant woman. But before this we just sprung up, there had been speculations earlier claiming that she was pregnant. I judged by pictures of her seen online weeks even before that. And one of her fans suggested that Tony was looking pregnant in the photo she shared on her page also and even told her congratulations. But Tony immediately replied saying she wasn't and wished that she was actually pregnant. That was the beginning of the whole pregnancy speculation. And at every point in time, people said, oh, Tony was pregnant. She came out to debunk the rumor saying it was a lie and she was not pregnant. But then when the other picture went viral, the one she was wearing the red maternity gown, she went on to post on her Instagram saying that the photos were from a movie set. And to prove furthermore that the photos are actually from the movie set, she reposted another photo with the same outfit, with the same look, with the caption indicating day two on the movie set. Our fans on the other hand still found it hard to believe that she was not pregnant because she looked pregnant. And just like the year 2019, for some months now, fans have been speculating that Tony Hebram is pregnant again. And this time around, she's not budging to deny or confirm the news. And just like 2019, this question keeps coming up. And excited fans can't wait to see Ray's younger sister or younger brother. Well, if this is true, congratulations to Tony Abraham. If you want to know more about Tony Abraham's family, please stay with us. This time you back to Tony Abraham is happily married to Kola Wale Ajiyemi. They welcomed their first child together really with Ajiyemi in August 2019. The same year fans had the first speculation. But Ira is not the only child of Kola Wale Ajiyemi and Tony Abraham. They also have a daughter together, Temi Tope Ajiyemi. Temi Tope Ajiyemi, however, is a teenage daughter of Kola Olia Jim. Kola Olia Jim was a single father before he finally settled down with Tony Abraham as it has been reported. Over time, Tony Abraham has fully embraced Timmy Topa as her own daughter, so the duo do not refer to themselves as stepdaughter or stepmother. These two relationships is so enviable as the two of them are so close and they also wear similar outfits, which they show off on their official social media platforms. Kola Oli Ajiyemi on the other hand with their son is very close and to Abraham often reveal how jealous she is of Kola Oli Ajiyemi and the Rilua's relationship. Also, everyone in this family is doing quite well for themselves. Temito Kwa Ajiyemi is a teenage mother. She launched her modeling career last year, around September after her birthday. Rilua Ajiyemi on the other hand is a brand ambassador to Makari Baby in Nigeria and is also the CEO of Ire Games. Ime Games is the first of its kind in the whole of West Africa. Tony Abraham's husband's full name is Kola Wale Uluwa Shegun Ajiyemi. He was born and bred in Oyo State, but then in the Ugumosho part of Oyo. His father, as it has been reported, is a popular musician called Ajiyemi. He started acting in the 90s under the sweet leader of the Vecha Yuba actors Isiaka Ututula Mimbo and Shegun Akonyogumi. So he's a senior colleague of Tony Abraham. Since then, he has since and since then, he has fully established himself as an actor. He has featured in over 50 movies and worked as a director for many movies, including the movies Buga, Shutala Patai Jogba Iwusi, Ebi Giga, Sunday Dad Boru Jokin Jokun Sumi Sumi Bayo, Ifen Yokola Pastor Ruku Irukula Kokoro Umwa Yaso, Otamo Kola Jayimanja Labe Ruku Misi Ujima Wole Eko Mero Rilu Wu Onome Aganga and Oma Yinua, just to mention a few of them. Kola only backed the nickname Awilu because of the rugged roles he plays in many of his movies. And this actor, seeing said, is a different person off screen. He does not in any way behave like those characters he plays in movies. Apart from being an actor, movie director, and a producer, he's also a businessman. He's the father of a film school called Ajio Magic School of Performing Arts, which is located in Abokuta, part of Ogun State. 
He's also the CEO of Colorway Clothing, a fashion company specialized in making native wears and shoes. So, Abraham, on the other hand, is also a star Yoruba actress who grew up in Ibadan, part of Oyo State. However, she was born in Edo State, in Benin, part of Edo State, and she even started her education there. And she attended the school, Oba Kenzo Nozuran Primary School, but the entire family moved to Ibadan, where she spent most of her early life. She was formerly known as Olu Toye Aimaku, but then she changed the name in the year 2016 to Toye Abraham and added her husband's last name, Ajayemi, to her name at the beginning of this year, making her Toye Abraham Ajayemi. She began acting act in the year 2003 after she featured on Bukin Rati movie with Bed Bembo. <laughs> but then professionally, she started acting between 2004 and 2005. She began to star in other films after the Bed Bembo. Until she rose to stardom. As she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Ala Jota, and she also had plans to produce Ala Jota Reloaded. Today, Toy is one of the biggest brands we have in the Nigerian movie industry. And according to her, saying on her law, and working with the movie director Monoboli was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting. She has been consistent in making a name for herself. And apart from this, she's also a businesswoman. In October 2019, she officially launched the herbal medicine business, Tony Herbal, a subsidiary of Tony Herbal Company. This was shortly after she revealed how challenging her journey was to motherhood. And apart from that, she is also the CEO of Cost Limited by Twin, Tokitilo by Twin, Plusher by Twin, and Body Talk by Twin. And today, she is one of the Nigerians' biggest social influencers. And can he fool those come to she estimated her net worth to be at $500,000? So she's one of the richest and most influential actresses we have in Nigeria. Some of the popular movies she has featured on over the years include The Therapist, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Evil, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Ling Ligoshins, Nimbe, The Ghost and the Tout, The Ghost and the Tout 2, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys, Watch Your Stop and Alakada Reloaded, Esui, Akunde mentally attacked to London fever, rise on short revolution, celebrity marriage, or Kafos law, what makes you think? Loves in the hair, Alani Baba Labake, Ebimini, Sholafi Okbami, Alakada, Dube Dubembo, and Shadow Parties, just to mention a few of them. She's also a multiple award winning actress with so many awards and nominations. So, this is a little bit about the job actress, Tony Abraham. You come to the end of this episode when some Nigerians ask and others react to a recent photo of Tony Abraham says she's pregnant. And once again, congratulations to Tony Abraham. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know. Soon you think, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.